make a video for you that will help your life. This video is talking about how to communicate, how to connect with someone that you love, that you care about. If you guys are going through a hard time, if you guys aren't seeing eye to eye, I want you to talk to this person. I want you to have a conversation with this person. If you guys are having troubles, show them this video. If someone is showing you this video, they are showing it to you because they care, because they love you, because they want the connection to be as strong as it once was and stronger, because they may not have the words to say what they're trying to say, because they are so passionate about fixing things with you, about healing things with you, and they just don't have the patience to come up with the words that they turn to YouTube. They turn to me to help you understand how much they care. And so I'm going to give you guys three ways to help talk to each other, to heal each other, to love each other, to support each other. The first step is to communicate without expectation. You have a problem. You have a, a, a situation. Don't communicate looking for a specific result. Don't communicate just looking for you to win. That's not fair. That's not what we want to do. We want to communicate how we feel, what we think, what we see, what our skin feels. You want to communicate everything that is happening because you both owe each other that. It does not matter if this is a brother and brother relationship, if it's a mother-son relationship, if it's a husband, wife, teacher, student, coach, player. You guys both have to communicate what you truly feel. Communicate both feelings, both thoughts, both perspectives, openly without expectation this will change your entire the entire diagram of how you guys interact with each other because as soon as you add that expectation on there you prevent the ultimate growth that could truly happen the second most important thing is your tone of voice there are so many people who communicate with their lovers and they're aggressive they're, ah, like that's not how you communicate with people you might be feeling anger you might be pissed off but you do not want to communicate that to someone. It does not work. It is not effective. Be accountable. If you talk aggressively at people, you put them down, you call them names, you try to corner them, that is not effective communication and you know it. Be honest with yourself. Communicate in a tone that is loving, that is caring, that is nurturing, that is genuine. Even if you feel like you talk passionately, which is okay, just communicate, be smart, communicate in a way that you know other people can receive your message, they can listen to you, they can understand you, and then they can communicate back safely. Because if they don't feel safe in their communications, they're not gonna communicate. So listen to your tone of voice. And if you don't know how to do that, the best thing to do is record yourself talking, grab your iPhone, open the voice memo, and talk about whatever you're passionate about. Talk about it. Give yourself two days, go back, listen to it, and listen to your tone of voice. Would I wanna to talk to me? Would I be okay with you? That's how you do that. The last thing I want you to do is to let go of every irrelevant thought, saying, or feeling that does not produce happiness and bliss. If you upset me at 9 a.m., and we are now talking at 8 p.m., and I've carried that anger the entire day, that's my fault. That is my fault. Now, I'm saying that under the assumption that you don't always upset me at 9 a.m. This is an event that just happened. If it's consistent, that's different. When 8 p.m. comes around, and now we're, we've talked for the first time since 9 p.m., I'm gonna be greeting. I'm, I'm gonna greet you in a warm manner. I'm gonna be calm, I'm gonna be collective. Because if you're still angry at 8 p.m., that's your ego. You need to reduce your ego. Your ego does not have to control you. Your ego does not have to control your relationship. You reduce your ego. Your ego is the me, 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 me. Reduce that. Hey baby, how was your day? How are you doing? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm so glad we're talking right now. I, I appreciate you taking the time. Let me tell you about my day, do you mind? Here's what I did. That person is going to communicate with me. Later in conversation, be direct. Just bring it up. Hey, I, I just want to be honest. I just want to communicate with you. You know, this morning at 9 a.m. when we talked, I was a little upset at how you dealt with me, how you talked to me. I didn't really like how you talked to me. And 
here's how it made me feel. It made me feel this way. And so I choose, I'm choosing to let it go. I'm not gonna hold it over your head. I'm not gonna drill you about it. I'm just letting it go because there's so many more important things. But I don't want any resentment to build up in me. And I just wanted to tell you exactly how I was feeling. Maybe you were having a bad day or something. I just wanted to communicate that with you. And I, I hope that's okay with you. I hope we can communicate with each other in a safe manner. And that person, you know what they're gonna say? You know what they're gonna say? They're gonna say, I'm sorry I made you feel that way. I was having a bad day. Mercury is in retrograde. It's, it's a full moon, you know. I'm sorry. I had a I had a bad client that I dealt with and it rubbed off on me. And I'm sorry. And you know what you're gonna say? It's okay, I understand. I understand and I love you, and I'm so glad that we can talk about this and work through it because I don't want to lose you. I don't want our friendship. I don't want our relationship. I don't want our business partnership to be ruined over something small like that. So thank you. Thank you for being accountable for it. And if it if it, that comes the other way, let me know. Please let me know. If I'm ever that way, let me know. Let me know because I want us to communicate in an open way. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. This is a topic that I really care a lot about. Um, as a kid who came from divorced parents, and as a as a grown man who's trying to figure out how to actually create um, the best, efficient, healthy, happiest relationship relationships possible, this video right here means a lot to me. I hope you can see that through watching the video. Just really meant a lot to me. And if this can help, benefit, impact one person, I'm grateful for it. So thank you for tuning in. Um, if you want more videos, obviously you can subscribe. <laughs> if you don't want more videos, don't subscribe. That's obvious. Uh, thank you so much. Get in the comment box. Tell me anything, your thoughts, your comments. If you cried, <laughs> if you shared it with your boss or your, your friend, you know, get in the comment box. Let me know what you think. If you want to get my book on dating, on relationships, uh, it's this book right here, Dear Love Life. I'll put the link below. All right. Thank you, guys. Peace and love to you.